Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So in today's tutorial, we are going to discuss on the differences between selection sort, bubble sort, and insertion sort. So in the previous videos, we have discussed on these three sorting algorithms uh, with the implementation in C++. So just a quick revision, uh, selection sort, we take, we select the minimum element and we are keeping that element at the beginning of this array. So we get the two parts, right? One sorted and another unsorted. And in, so that's why like what we are doing, we are selecting the minimum element. So from the name also, you can get the hint about it. In bubble sort, uh, we are uh, checking the adjacent elements. So we are checking the adjacent elements and perform the swapping if it is needed, right? In insertion sort, we have the array in two parts again, sorted and unsorted. And we take the element from, we take element from the unsorted part and place it to the correct position in the sorted subpart, right? Okay, so moving on to the time complexities. In selection sort, what do we mean by best case? The best case is when the array is already sorted, okay? Now, in selection sort, even if array is already sorted, we are going to traverse the array two times. So, because we have to, we, we are putting the first selection as the minimum element, and then we are comparing that with every element in the array. So, even if array is sorted, we will end up traversing the array twice. So it will be order of n square. Whereas in bubble sort, it would be the single traversal. Uh, because in, uh, if, if after the first traversal itself in the array, we can identify, okay, we have not performed any swapping. So it means it is already sorted. So in order of n itself, uh, we would be good with the bubble sort. Same is the case with insertion sort. Here also, in the first traversal itself, we would be good with the insertion sort. Moving on to the average and the worst case, here it will be order of n square, resulting into the two traversal. Same in the worst case. Now, and you can see the same behavior for the bubble and insertion sort. We will be traversing the array twice to complete the particular sorting, okay? Now, moving on to the space complexity, we have seen that all these three algorithms are in place. So we are just taking the size of the array. We are not taking any extra memory or again storing the array elements and then performing the sorting. Okay, so it is going to be constant in nature. That is the size of the array. So our space complexity is order of one. Okay, uh, to get the implementation details, do check out the previous videos where I have provided the GitHub link as well. Um, and stay tuned for the further videos on graph traversals. Thank you. Have a good time.